Hey guys, Yarek here. Welcome to Emberscape. And this time around, uh, I've got my hands on probably one of the most rare pieces of ember I have. It is a piece of Baltic ember, but the contents is what matters. And it's one of the most rare pieces because uh, what's inside is a cricket or a grasshopper. So let's go and check it out. Okay, so let's inspect the cricket, which I think is a cricket. And let's see what, what do we have here. So let's start from the very bottom. I can see that the, one of the legs is touching the end of the surface of the ember. That means if I will be trying to remove a lot of size from the downside of the piece, I will you know, make his leg a little bit shorter, which is not exactly what I want to do. Other than that, uh, it looks quite nicely in the middle of the piece, except for its head. The head looks like it might be touching a little bit of the top section, but not quite, so should be also quite careful with that. Other than this, uh, this back side I will uh, reduce a uh, little bit of size from it, so we can see the cricket better on the pictures. Okay, so... <laughs> Nothing else to see here, let's go. see this fracture inside, I'm trying to remove this one, so it won't bother me when I will be making pictures. There we go, it's gone. Okay, so one third of the job is done, and this was the easy part. <laughs> now we'll come the hard part, which is this one. Notice all the shiny lines from the left side of the ember, it's the micro fractures. And now consider that the grasshopper is around 2 to 3 millimeters from the micro fractures, meaning removing them is really dangerous. Yeah, so I'm being extra careful with this piece because this cricket costed me a fortune to be honest. And I see there's some space between the surface and the cricket and I still see some micro fractures on top, I will try to very carefully remove them. This is quite a nerve wracking. Okay, here we go. Not much left. Okay. 
and it looks considerably better now. The micro fractures are almost gone. Now I will take 600 grit Dremel bit and repeat the whole process. Wanted to show you uh, daily issues I am facing uh, when cutting ember. Uh, it looks like it's fine, right? But you see these uh, small lines on top of ember? Two lines. So it's very slim layer of uh, ember that goes on top of the insect of the cricket. And uh, I won't be able to see the front of it with the microscope when taking pictures. So. I need somehow to remove this layer, but it's very close to the inside, so it's a big risk. A bit better. It's still there is still some. Ah. Mm, what do I do? Like it's better from this side, but in the middle there is still some left. And how close it is? No, I'm not sure how close it is. Should I try to remove it? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go to pre-polishing and if it's a big issue then I will return to it. And now I will try to pre-polish it with 1500 sandpaper and we will see if I will need to try and remove even more size from the top to remove that last layer from the middle of the cricket. Yeah, so let's try that out. Yeah, so I did finish with 1500 grit and uh, that layer which I was talking about is absolutely a problem. Can you see it from the side? It's like covering the whole insect from the front of it. And it's really hard to figure out if that layer is actually sticking to the insect itself or not. Because if not, I would I would like to try to remove it because uh, like it's really not good to have this layer covering the whole insect from the front. Can you see what I'm talking about? I hope you do. I guess it will like half a millimeter. I will try to remove it with sandpaper alone so I can be very careful. Just, just like from the top, I try to remove it slowly. But it's very dangerous. If I will blow it, then, you know, the insect will start sticking out from the piece and that will be a disaster. <sighs> okay, I will try.
yeah it's done i did we finished polishing the piece and after polishing that layer is even more visible than before i'm not even sure if i should do anything with it you see here in the middle this line <laughs> it drives me crazy but the cricket is so close right now that i can almost smell it i don't know if i should risk it Uh, let's try to take some pictures with the microscope and then I will decide if I should risk it or not. Maybe it's not gonna be such a big issue, but I guess it will. And through the microscope this layer is very well visible and it indeed does uh, make pictures worse. But it's very dangerous to remove this layer completely. I removed it as much as possible. So this cricket uh, was identified as always by Arturi, thank you a lot <laughs> for identification as always. And yeah, this is the first cricket I own in the Baltic Amber, but I'm not sure if I will be able to afford to keep it for myself, I might resell it. And let me know in the comments if I should uh, risk removing this layer or not. And that's it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, subscribe to the channel and like this video, and see you next time, bye!